This is Next Weather. A chill sounds nice right about now. Yes. <laughs> we are still waiting. Ivan, heat and humidity still for the rest of this week. Will we get a break soon? Yeah, I mean, I think you have to get in a car and play at this oh. point to get to some cool air and go north because uh, it's just not in the cars. I think we'll cool off a little bit through the middle part of the week, and then I'll show you what's happening and why I don't think we're going to get a big blast of cold air. Some thunderstorms right now over inland Monroe here. Those have been pushed off in uh, from the sea breeze that has developed here each and every afternoon. we got that easterly flow with a few cumulus clouds out there, but it is very shallow as far as the moisture up on top of us very dry so it's going to be difficult to make rain the next few days a few isolated showers as the sea breezes get going now there's a cool temperature. i mean 68 right now in tallahassee 63 in the jacksonville there's the front and of course the cool air lingers there longer you get into orlando and then you get into the 70s and then by the time we get in miami here it's 81 but yeah it is fall underway no question in fact it's snowing right now in parts of uh, the midwest we got to get this cool air down to the south and how we do that of course is well the jet stream calls the shots north of that cold south of that warm uh, that's the generalized version right but we get these shallow fronts that come through but unless they have the jet stream digging down we really don't tap into that very uh, you know dense cold air mass that is uh, bottled up across the north this time of year so jet flattens out and what we get are the, fr the fronts that come in cools us off a little bit drops the humidity for a day or two but that's about it for the rest of the middle part of the week. Anyway, through Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have a few isolated showers. Uh, the breeze will be with us. The warmth uh, and humidity will also be with us. And then I think Thursday into Friday, there comes another front, but without the jet stream. So that one, too, will bring in slightly cooler temperatures, slightly lower humidity. And it's also going to be you know, a short uh, duration cold front here for Friday morning. That'll probably be the coolest days. And then we get into some weather for Saturday and Sunday. Showers into thunder storms across the inland areas here and again these will be isolated for the most part we're going to stay dry here through tomorrow heading into Wednesday as well as the front approaches a little more moisture we'll be able to squeeze out I think a few more showers and storms that's towards the middle part of the week you can see that movement there there's the boundary there's the front but there's not much with it right as far as not even precip we're looking at at least a little bit of a dip in the humidity but you got to watch closely here right we're very humid now we're going to dip on Friday morning and then we're going to work our way back up to a very humid day for this time of year. Good thing is development chances across the entire Atlantic Basin. I think Nicole is going to be the last name unless something very strange happens. I don't see anything in the next two weeks. That'll take us already into December. So there you go. 14 Nicole likely won't get to that third list. I don't see an Owen in the cards. 14, 7 and 3 is normal. We got 14, 8 and 2. You look at this, you think, oh, an average season. That's the folks in Fort Myers. Horrific season. That's what we always say despite these numbers and of course that forecast was wrong we were thinking it was going to be 20 uh, storms at least and that didn't materialize we got the one and that mattered mid 80s for tomorrow I'll let you uh, check in on the seven day forecast now as we head into the weekend a little more moisture and that will change i think over the next few days but uh, keep checking back with a saturday and sunday probably the higher rain chances there at 40 percent